around late February, early March, Carson told the Lunch Club guys, as well as a bunch of uh, a bunch of close friends of his at the time, that he had been sexting his talking fans. about call me carson and how he's allegedly Probably sexting heard minors about the call me carson today we're gonna be talking about call me carson I for it call me carson is coming back now if you don't know who call me carson is he's an american youtube video maker and a twitch live streamer who also has over 2.95 million subscribers on youtube and over 1.2 million on twitch followers on twitch now the reason he got cancelled is because he sexted a fan slash minor. Some people were mad because of the power dynamics since, since she was a big fan of him and some people were mad because he was dating a minor. In my opinion, in my opinion, it is just a two year age gap, but what the problem is, is that they exchanged nudes, so now this 19-year-old has a 17-year-old's noodles. I honestly don't know how people don't know. I, I honestly don't know how people don't see the problem here. And to make matters even worse, this is his response. It's really hard to come in front of you guys today and talk about this. And... I just want you guys to know, I regret everything I've said. I regret every action, and I'm sorry to the people I've disrespected. And I know in my heart there's no way for you guys to forgive me, but I can't sit here and not try. I can't sit here and watch as the entire internet sits there and judges me for my every action. And I, I know I fucked up. I know I fucked up, and it's it's unbelievable that I would have the gall to do that, and I hate myself for it. But here we are, so fuck me, right? Please smash that subscribe button, by the way. We are almost to 10 million subscribers. Thank you all for the crazy support. Let's get on drama. I know it's easy to look at the people on Twitter and see the response and go, yeah, Carson should be banned off of the platform, but I think he changed. It's hard to say, all he really did for like five to six months was make a few accidental uh, tweets that I don't think were really accidental. I heard a, a YouTuber say a while ago that he was just seeing how people responded when he tweeted. Um, and I 100% agree. I think the same thing. Alright, now let's talk about the people who who are canceling him, or cancel him on Twitter. Okay, I, I think that ending someone's whole career over t a two year age difference is borderline stupid. He could have lost his house, and you can't say he should have just got a job. Because if, if the interviewer knows who Carson is, then the chances are they're not gonna hire him. And before you say he deserves it, he had a cat. Now what if that cat could help him get better? He could have ruined that chances. Because if he can't afford to feed it, then he's gonna give the cat to a better home. Imagine losing the one thing you love because you made a stupid mistake. Okay. I it's time to address the title of the video. So a few days ago Carson made a tweet saying, Give me a bit longer. What this means is that the parents of the girl will have to deal with the fact that the person who, that got that got nudes from the daughter who was underage is now going to be making thousands of dollars a week, probably more than probably more than the parents, the girl's parents. That's that's just messed up. So, it looks like people are mostly on Carson's side. Me, personally, I'm on both. Carson, I like Carson's content. It was pretty funny. Uh, so, I'm pretty excited for him to come back. What he did was, like, half okay and mostly wrong, though. 
uh, remember make sure to subscribe if, make sure to subscribe if you want to it's like my first time making this type of video and I know it's crap but that's just a part of the progress.